Hello all. In this video, let's have a look at a practice question for CSWA. I just found out a great material for CSWA on the official SOLIDWORKS website and I'm going to put the link in description below. Have a look at the material and practice all the questions so that you can crack CSWA very easily. Let's have a look at the question. Here we have a collar shaft and it is made of galvanized steel. You can see the material here in the question. And uh, we have the dimensions here. There is top view, front view, and we have an isometric view. And the unit system is MMGS. Let's start the design from top view. Go to top view here, right click, and click on sketch. First, I'm going to draw these circles. First, I'm going to draw this cross section. So, first, I'll draw a circle and then horizontal to this, I'm going to draw another circle first. And let's draw a center line from this circle till this circle. And uh, here we have the dimension of this inner circle as 20 which is diameter and the distance between the inner and outer is about 6 mm. So the diameter of the circle is 32 mm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to smart dimension and enter this value as 32. Okay. And then here we have this distance as 6 mm and the diameter of the inner circle is 6 mm. So the diameter of this arc or the circle is 18 mm smart dimension this is going to be 18 and the distance between these two circles is 38 mm so i'm going to edit this as 38 okay and now i want to draw this tangent lines so select line draw a line from this circle to anywhere on this circle and then I'm gonna add relations here select this line and select this circle the relation is going to be tangent okay select this line and select this circle and the relation is going to be tangent okay now I'm gonna use mirror entities to mirror this and under mirror about select the center line now I'm going to use trim entities to trim this inner part okay so now I have this shape what I'm going to do is I'm going to use extruder boss and uh, use or do the extrusion for about 6 mm so features extruder boss and it's going to be 6 mm first okay now I'm gonna to go to top view and create this part here so right click on the top surface select normal to go to sketch and uh, select sketch and I'm gonna draw a circle and the diameter of circle is going to be 32 mm which is the outer diameter so smart dimension that's gonna be 32 okay go to features extruded boss or base and uh, here we already added 6 mm to the extruded boss so we need to add 8 more mm so we are gonna extrude this for only 8 mm okay now right click on this select normal to again now create another sketch this time we are going to create this part of the design so the diameter of this part is 18 mm so I'm going to create a circle here of 18 mm diameter circle horizontal to this create a circle anywhere on the surface okay now I'm going to add 
a dimension here smart dimension from this center till this center it is 38 and the diameter of the circle is 18 okay now go to features again extrude boss or base this time we are going to extrude this in opposite direction and the extrusion depth is 6 mm plus 24 mm which is 30 mm so enter this value as 30 but in the reverse direction okay now we are left with these holes now I'm gonna add these holes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this select normal tool and then here I'm going to create a sketch I'm gonna make two circles here of different diameters and I'm uh, horizontal to this I'm gonna draw another circle here okay and the distance between these two circles is 38 mm as you can see in the picture or the question okay uh, smart dimension the, the diameter of this hole is 20 mm and the diameter of this hole is 6 mm okay now I'm gonna add one last relation here which is a horizontal relation select this center and select this center make them horizontal okay now the sketch is fully defined what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use extruded cut feature and I'm gonna extrude them in this direction and uh, under direction one or under end condition make sure that it is in through all condition select click ok now we are done with the designing here I'm gonna go to isometric view so we have an isometric view here and uh, now I'm going to assign the material right click on the material here edit material and uh, it's going to be galvanized steel as you can see the mass density here it is same so apply and then close the question is to find out the mass of the part so to find out the mass go to evaluate mass properties and you can see the mass here it is 128.03 grams 